Hi, I am Subhra Basu and I am an oil painting, I am a landscape painter who primarily work on oil paints. And on behalf of Eclectic Art Fair, which has been happening at the Open Palm Court Gallery, India Habitat Center, New Delhi, I would like to invite you all to come and visit this show. The show will be available till 10th of December, which is this Sunday. Uh, the artists, <coughs> the show have been put by six of the very talented artists and have been curated by Mrs. Sabrina Gill, uh, who herself is also an artist. And we have range starting from landscapes uh, to the completely abstract paintings, as well as a lot of charcoal works also. So we have a diverse variety of work and definitely you should come and visit. So I'd like to take a walk through my paintings. So starting from my left, so these are <coughs> a semi-abstract landscapes which is primarily based on reflection. So if, if you see sometimes when there's a lot of rain and there's the water submerged on the land, you will see the nature's reflection on that. So this is a typical depiction of such reflections from the nature and this has been obviously inspired by uh, the water lilies of Monet, uh, but this is purely my own depiction. The second painting that I'll walk through is this is a, a typical into the woods, I call it. So it's a dark, deep forest. But if you look at it carefully, you can just meditate yourself and get lost into the woods. These two landscapes are my childhood memories. So I'm born and brought up and I grew up in a place called Faraka. Uh, which is in West Bengal. It's a small island which is situated by water on all the sides. We used to get a lot of rain during the rainy seasons and there was a river which is which is Ganga basically which used to get flooded covering all the neighboring lands and everything. So this is a typical depiction which I call like, like the river by the bank where <coughs> the, the bank of the river and the, the rainwater gets submerged into in one plane. So this is just the childhood memories that I have in my memory which I, I try to capture on the canvas. This theme, I call it cast ashore. So you see a lot of ships floating in the water. So this is again a childhood memories of a lot of ships and pirate stories that I used to hear from my father. Uh, there are a lot of ships that used to get float away. There are a lot of ships that used to get uh, <coughs> lost in the sea. Some come on their own to the land and everything. So those childhood fancy stories and everything, the adventurous stories that I have in mind and I try to clearly paint those. And uh, these are all again semi-abstract and uh, you see a lot of abstractions being going on with the lovely balance between the sea and the water. And coming to this one, this is a tram. Uh, typically since I'm a Bengali and I've been greatly influenced by the culture of Kolkata. Uh, now you know like tram is one of the uh, early mode of commutations that was available in Kolkata. Uh, nowadays it's not been maintained uh, that very well and uh, it was one of the heritage that got lost. So that's why I call this a lost heritage. Uh, it's also a glory and since it's in glory I painted in gold color and just to give the look of a deserted uh, deserted tram been parked on uh, one corner so uh, that's why I give it a very rustic look and uh the last come to the hustle and bustle of the city, uh, the Calcutta city life. And uh, like when, when you go onto the rooftop, you will see just buildings and buildings and buildings. And sometimes when you stand on the afternoon, uh, you will see uh, the quiet city, uh, the city that's, that's moving a lot. But, but when you see at uh, the sky, it's absolutely silent. Uh, this is a night view of uh, such a city, which is again quite happening uh, during the pujas and during the other festivals. Uh, so it's again a lot of uh, cityscape in semi-abstract. So these are all uh, my paintings and you have a lot of other paintings as well. So I would definitely invite you all to visit this eclectic art fair which is being happening from 7th to 10th of December 2023 at the Open Palm Court Gallery, India Habitat Center.
my name is Anjali Mishra and I am an artist um, exhibiting here right now at the Open Palm Court at Habitat Center. And uh, as you can see, uh, most of my abstracts are up here. Some of the hyperrealisms are up here. And it's lovely to be part of this exhibition. There are so many um, varied works and a variety of artists. Um, as far as my work is concerned, I like to move. Um, I like to work with movement. I like to work with stillness and movement and uh, try and create a flow between the two. Um, where you know there's a just opposition of the two as I work and you'll see it in my process and in the outcome. So this artwork is called Fluid and I made this with, I used acrylics as the medium. What I was trying to express while making this art, if you see my movement in the art you'll see that I have used very harsh lines, they're very structured lines but you can still see the fluidity within the art piece. So it was to show that even within a structure there will be fluidity and there will be movement. And um, if you see the colors that I've used, it's also to show that there's a fire within the calm blue. Hi, my name is Anukriti and I am a um, Lippin artist. I take that word as a Lippin artist because recently I've started doing it. So professionally I work as an HR but now I have developed a passion of art and Lippin is something that has attracted me a lot. So what is Lippin? Lippin is basically art made out of clay and mirrors. So this is my form of uh, Lippin art and uh, this is my form of Lippin art where it traditionally comes from the land of Kutch, Gujarat where women used to do it with cow dung, camel dung and clay and they used to do it on the walls of their homes to maintain the temperature and beautify their homes. So I have taken that art traditionally from there and bring it uh, in this world, uh, modern contemporary world by introducing a lot of colors and patterns. So basically it was all white uh, um, art but now by introducing colors and patterns and designs uh, I have tried to bring uh, or exactly give a modern touch so yeah this is my journey and uh, since last one year I'm trying to develop uh, this platform where I can uh, bring more art Marine creatures, 
Marine and some shapes, basic shapes when we started. This was made at two years, eleven months. So we have a small uh, marking that talks about her age. This was three years, six months. These are random mountains, and this was after we went to Masuri. Uh, she saw a lot of barren landscape, mountains without trees. So that was the idea. She got inspired from that. Just very spontaneous strokes. And this is snow without the mountains. So this entire set is called the Ascent. Uh, mountains, pause and reflect. Kind of also represents the fact that there are no trees on mountains anymore. Snow is vanishing. And then of course, again we have mountains. We are really happy to be at Eclectic Art Fair. Hi, I'm Richa and I'm a dentist by profession and an artist at heart. And art was very close to my heart while I was, while my, I was growing up. And then uh, my profession made me very deft with my hands. And I do micro art in the teeth all the time. So when I took to painting seven, eight years ago, and I was learning fr uh, from uh, my teacher, and he said that your hand is very steady. I said my hand better better be very, very steady because I work in like, you know, on human beings, and there's no retakes on that. And uh, so I started with very intricate work earlier. My first collection is inspired by Ajanta Elora. Uh, it's a beautiful book and collection of uh, photographs of Ajanta Elora by Mr. Benoy Behel. And uh, so the first collection is inspired by his book and my adaptation of it. So I look at the work, but I, it's totally my version of it, not like any um, a copy to detail of anything. So, but my, this is what I grew up into. So my first work is intricate. Usually the artists work the other way around. They start with uh, more simpler subjects and go on to intricate. But because my work involves me to do very intricate, minute work in indirect vision, in the mouth, I started the really intricate work and then went on to more uh, bold work which is more blended and bigger subjects. So uh, first collection was inspired by the book and the second one is totally fantasy. And so I like to play, I don't have not still discovered my style, my USP, my signature style, but uh, this painting, so I love music. It's very, music is very close to my heart and I always wanted to be a musician, but I don't have a good voice and I've not learned an instrument. So I said, let me paint music. So I'm capturing musicians here where uh, the thought is that the musician becomes one with the instrument. So if you see this particular one, so he's totally into this and it's a very serene kind of picture. And the other one is a very playful one. Again, that shows that the musician is one with the instrument. So the same energy encompasses the musician as well as the music instrument. And I'm coming up with a really uh, series which I'm very excited about, which is uh, the mystic and abstract. So total mystic, abstract, total fantasy. So uh, tune in for more fantasy work and abstract work.